All right, welcome back, everyone. This is uh, Anthony Smoke. Go ahead and hit uh, subscribe uh, if you like uh, BI, if you like technology strategy. Check me out on uh, anthonysmoke.com as well. So today we're back in Tableau, and we're talking about maps, uh, more specifically uh, dual layer maps in Tableau. Going to show you a couple things to get you started. As always, feel free to tweak whatever you need to tweak to fit your specific situation. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to drag state here to rows. And we're going to go over here and make sure we've got a filled map. And what I like to do, and I don't see a, a, enough people doing this, we're going to go in here to map layers. And we're just going to pare back uh, everything right until we have the United States uh, in, in a vacuum here, right? Uh, some would say that's a, that's a metaphor for current events, but uh, our data only deals with the United States. So for our viz, we just want to show uh, the US, uh, the lower 48, uh, if you will, uh, in this uh, visualization. So next thing I'll do here, we'll get rid of this. We're going to drag our profit over here to color. I want, I want a profit versus uh, sales dual visualization and you know in the color here I always love red black uh, uh, diverging whenever I have to show uh, profits uh, we'll go with the use the full color range let's apply that all right looking good so as we can see Cali has a lot of uh, profits here 76,000 Texas is deep in the red uh, someone needs to mess with Texas, uh, at least profit-wise here. We're negative 25,000. Uh, so we've got, we've got that viz, right? So now we're going to double up here. I'm going to hold down Control, bring that over. We've got two uh, United States here, right? And from the lower uh, version here, I want to remove our profit right as you can see uh, that affects our lower viz I want to remove profit there and I'm gonna drag sales over here to size and I want to make sure that this is a circle right and I want to change the color of that circle to blue and you can see here we can actually go on the label and uh, get rid of the uh, marks here. So as you can see, we've got two different versions of the United States. And we want to bring both of these versions uh, together, right? Sound like a politician. Vote Anthony Smoke in 2020. But we're going to bring the country together, right? So I'm going to go over here, go to dual axis. And as you can see, uh, we have both of our visualizations layered on top of each other. I can go in here to size and just play around, you know, make the size a little bigger here. So our size represents sales and our color represents the profit, right? So good deal. So this is a perfectly good uh, visualization in and of itself. I could actually go in here to color. Let's make this, um, let's make the borders uh, black there. I right? give you a little uh, solid uh, uh, border there. So you could stop here. But let's let's go ahead and uh, let's bring category into the mix, and uh, I'll probably show you how to use some uh, some level of detail functions as well. So first thing I want to do is I want to remove the sum of sales, right? And I'm going to drag the uh, the category, right? We're going to drag that uh, that category to oops, if I can click, drag category over to color that hasn't done much yet, but we're going to change this circle to a pie as you can see I've got uh, peace signs here throughout uh, throughout the country and that's because we don't have anything yet uh, on this angle so I'm gonna grab the sales here and put that on the angle and as you can see um, you know we have different proportions here based upon what our sum of sales are so I'm gonna take uh, get a size here and we can we can scale that up um, obviously, that's going <laughs> to affect some of your uh, your northeastern uh, pie charts here. But again, this is just uh, feel free to tweak it uh, however you need to. And let's see if we go into the tool tip here. If I go here, we know uh, all of the data relates to the United States. So I'm going to go into the tool tip here and just get rid of uh, the country. And right, say okay. So now, if I look at this, I can say. 
uh, state of California for technology, 159,000 in sales. Office supplies, 142, and uh, sales. Uh, sorry, furniture, 156. Right. And so again, I'm going to take you to the next level. If you want to keep uh, following along, we're going to do a uh, a fixed level of detail calculation because in here I want to know what percent. Uh, the uh, category of office supplies represents in California. I want a percent added to the uh, tooltip. So let me go to this uh, example that I set up here. If you look at the data, let's again, let's look at California. You can see I have the state and I have the category. We have sales by state and category. And then here we have sales by state only. So that's why it's repeated. It's at a uh, higher level of aggregation, 457,000 for California. And then I'm just doing a percentage, right? The sales divided by the uh, sales by state gives me that percentage. So how do we do that in Tableau? So I'm going to bring in this notepad here. Um, this is the calculation that we would need to use. So we're talking about level of detail calculations, the fixed level of detail calculation, right? So as you can see, uh, I'm going to use this fixed uh, expression here by state and category I want to sum sales right so if we look by state and category that gives me a sum of sales and fixed by state only I want a sum of sales that's what this number represents it's fixed by state only at the California level we're dividing the two that's how we get that uh, that uh, percentage right there so take this and I've already pre uh, let's go back let's go back here I already made a, uh, a calculation that has that in there. If I go in here, we'll see. All I did was just cut and paste what I had in the notepad into here. It's the same thing. I'm just calling it percent sales by uh, ST and cat. <laughs> I'm going to say OK. And I'm going to take this guy and I'm going to drag him into the detail. Right. And what I can do is I can go into the tool tip and let's add. Let's just call it. Um, uh, percent sales and if I go in here say insert uh, some percent sales by state and cat now I'm gonna do control all let's make this a little bigger let's let's make this 12 I'm gonna bold everything make sure everything's uh, black say okay now in my tooltip you'll see that I have uh, that percent of sales so that 142,000 in uh, office supplies for California is 31.1 percent of sales going up here to Montana uh, 65 percent of sales is uh, is for the category of technology um, uh, office supplies represents 33.3 and very tiny slice here if I can get my there we go furniture uh, Montana beautiful state not a lot of people like to stay inside apparently and use the furniture 1.14% uh, on that uh, $64 so this is a complete uh, map here you've got some level of details you got dual layers I uh, hope you found this useful go ahead and take this information and get out there and do some uh, great things with your data uh, thanks for watching everyone